Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, the 14th week of Ordinary Time. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, Jesus is always at work in the world. Back when he walked on this earth, his, his workings were more obvious, and yet today, he still works through all of us. For the times we fail to appreciate our blessings, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may be your prompting to discern what is right, and by your guidance do it through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her, I will lead her into the desert, and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband, and never again my Baal. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord, the Lord is, is gracious, gracious and, and merciful. merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord, the Lord is, is gracious, gracious and, and merciful. merciful. Generation after generation praises your work and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, my daughter has just died, but come lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him, touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players in the crowd were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The little girl is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, Dr. Rachel Naomi uh, wrote a book called Kitchen Table Wisdom. I've mentioned it before. And in this particular chapter, she mentions about the gift of hearing. Here's what she said. Perhaps the most important thing we can ever give each other is our attention, and especially when it's given from the heart. When people are talking, there's no need to do anything but receive them. Just take them in. Listen to what they're saying. Care about it. Most times, caring about it is even more important than understanding it. It has taken me a long time to believe in the power of simply saying, I'm so sorry, when someone is in pain, and meaning it. A loving silence often has more power to heal and to connect than most well-intentioned words. So what she's telling us is that we can be healers simply by taking the time to listen to those who need to talk. There's an incredible healing power in that. God bless. For all those who have been with us when we struggled, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always listen to the cry of the poor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children, we may march over them, protect them, and guide them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, that what we offer may be an acceptable offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. By the love is our origin, love is our constant calling, love is truly our fulfillment in heaven. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, cup. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Jim Weedle, Angeline Belzano, Robert Socoli, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but, only but only say the say word, the word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us from doing evil and lead us to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.